Hmm. Interesting read, this. Oh! Hello all, Simpsons Clips 24 here. I've just been reading one of my favourite books, The Fantastic Intergalactic Adventures of Stanley and Livingston. If you haven't read it, I recommend buying it. It's a good read. And here's something else I'll bet you didn't know about it. It was originally going to be a TV series co-produced by the late great Jerry Anderson. Unfortunately, it was one of his projects that didn't get off the ground, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So, this show would have been another combination of stop motion and CGI, just like Lavender Castle. And like Lavender Castle, it was another collaboration with Rodney Matthews, and it was going to be called Stanley and Livingston. Almost identical to the book title. So, Stanley and Livingston revolves around a couple of aliens named, well, Stanley and Livingston. <laughs> According to the series Bible, which I haven't actually read yet, but I would like to, the two of them are the greatest explorers in the universe, because by the means of a mysterious porcelain ring known as the Starflush, which has crash-landed on their home planet of Sesestial, the two of them are able to traverse the galaxies. Along with an 18 ton giant golden saber-toothed tabby cat called Max, a bizarre alien beast known as the Gumper Thump, and three robot porters called Sam, Ned and Grace, our heroes venture into the depths and darkness of outer space to explore other planets, make new friends, and combat evil wherever they find it. But all is not well in the cosmos. Power my psychiatrist and owner of Lou's Towers, Dr. Howard Sigmund Lou's, is out to find the secrets of the Starflush, so he has released two lunatics from his group therapy sessions to act as his minions and help him. Other villains include a malevolent chicken ghost known as the Poultry Geist and an Elvis Presley-esque giant fly known as the Elfry. Monsters, machines, strange alien races, perilous predicaments, it's all here and the adventures of Stanley and Livingston are guaranteed to be truly fantastic and intergalactic, the Bible proclaims. In my opinion, this series sounds like a bizarre and exciting idea. Unfortunately, Jerry Anderson, Rodney Matthews, and one of the show's potential scriptwriters, Marco Palmer, who wrote the series Bible, couldn't find the funding to get this series off the ground, so the series was scrapped. Thankfully, a completed script for the first episode exists, and this was used to publish this book. What do you think about it? I recommend posting your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, hopefully the Jerry Anderson YouTube channel will have seen this. Bye for now.